The library databases give you the best place to limit your search to get results that you want to see and that matter to your research. A good search will yield a manageable amount of results, meaning you will not feel overwhelmed by the amount of information or feel desperate to find results that will help you write a research paper. You will also not be asked to pay for the library resources. When searching the internet for information, it can be difficult to narrow down your search and or find good information for free. It is best for you to search the databases once you know a little about your topic. You can use the internet or Wikipedia to read about a topic and get some keywords to help you form a good search in the databases. When searching the databases, you want to pick out two to four keywords that will help you narrow down your results. You may use other limitations available in the data databases depending on your assignment requirements and your own information need. In other words, choose limitations that are relevant to you and your assignment. Some common limiters to consider are date range, subject, type of resource, length of resource, population involved, geographic location, and full text. Every database will have a different interface with different limiters available. If you have a thesis statement, it will be easier for you to choose keywords. When searching for information, you may change some of your keywords to similar ones and find different results. For example, if you are looking at how teenagers use social media to communicate with peers, you might want to use several keywords that could mean teenager, such as adolescent, young adult, or high school students. Let's look at a couple of thesis statements and how you might break them down into keywords for a search in the databases. Most databases will have a few boxes at the top of the home screen for you to separate your keywords. This way, if your search gives you too many or too few results, you can add another keyword or take one away easily. Most databases will combine your keywords into AND statements. That means it will combine all the terms you enter into the boxes and find resources that contain all the words you entered. The thesis statement is, the American dream cannot exist without both individual material success to measure one's attainment and a greater national vision which governs success from idleness. Our thesis statement has been broken down into a few different searches. If I want to find information about how the American dream affects people on an individual basis, I would do a search for the first statement, American dream and individual material success. The second statement would find articles that talk about the American dream contributing to the betterment of society. And the last two statements looks for information about how people may define what it means to achieve the American dream. Placing the words American dream in quotation marks tells the database to search for these words as a phrase rather than finding one word in the first paragraph and the second in the last. It is a way to narrow down your search results. Instead of entering your entire thesis statement, pick out major keywords that you think will appear in an article that will give you information to help you write your paper. You might have a statement that lends itself to multiple searches, such as in an argumentative paper, where you will want to address both sides of an issue. You would do one search looking to support your statement and a separate one in search of defense for whatever claim you want to make. These search strategies also work in internet searches. The use of OR in between words is only meant to get you thinking of alternative words to what you may have used in your thesis statement. Sometimes students get stuck on certain terminology, especially when a professor assigns the topic. Always think, what other words can I use in place of the ones I have? as researchers may use specialized terminology in their own article or just different words than what you originally thought about. Another thesis is this, releasing water from Lake Okeechobee by the Water Management District in order to maintain proper levels in the lake is destroying the estuaries in the St. Lucie River. What keywords do you see? When researching local issues, keep in mind that journals publish articles for an international audience. A newspaper services a smaller clientele and publishes much more often. So news stories that you may be very familiar with because of where you live and because journalists are writing news stories about it on a daily basis will not have as many scholarly journal articles written about it since these are published on a monthly or even semi-monthly basis and serve the entire world.